clarify what the law is there in Minnesota. Abortion Finder, a website that helps women find access, says abortion is legal throughout pregnancy in Minnesota. There is no ban or limit on abortion in Minnesota based on how far along in a pregnancy you are. You signed the bill that makes it legal through all nine months. Is that a position you think Democrats should advocate for nationally? Look, the vice president and I have been clear the restoration of Roe versus Wade is what we're asking but for. But that this law is a goes far right beyond Roe v. Wade. To make her own choice. The law, does, the law is very clear. It does not change that. That has been debunked on every occasion. But, but wait, look, this wait. Is a, but let's let's, let's agree. What you win. signed is there's not a single limit through nine months of pregnancy. Roe had a trimester framework that did have limits through the pregnancy. The Minnesota law does not have that. This puts... This puts the decision with the woman and her health care providers. The situation we have is when you don't have the ability of health care providers to provide that, that's where you end up with a situation like Amanda Zaworski in Texas, where they are afraid to do what's necessary. Do you ever notice when Democrats come up to this topic, they never want to admit that it's up to the nine months in some of these states, which most people, even that are for abortions, don't want a baby aborted at nine months. That's horrible. Necessary. This doesn't change anything. It puts the decision back on to the woman, to the physicians. And we know that this is simply something to be brought up to be very clear. Donald Trump's asking for a nationwide abortion ban. Wait, he and again, we he, don't see this as a winning campaign. He said repeatedly that he will not sign a national abortion ban. Are you calling that just, it's a flat out lie? A, yes, it, it, of course. And, and, uh, Senator Vance has in the past said so too. Now look, they may see this as an election issue. We see it as a right of women to make their own bodily decisions. And that's what the states like my state have the ability to put that in. States like Georgia force women to cross the border and then we have a death uh, of Amber Thurman. So let's be very clear. Trying to... Again, he's going to try to lie and bring up something that's not true at all and she calls him out on it rightfully so. Trying to cut hairs on an issue on this is not where the American public's at. They want the restoration of Roe versus Wade. Vice President Harris said she would sign it. That's what we'll do okay. when we're elected. But to be clear, the Minnesota law right is women. far beyond Roe v. Wade. And about the Amber Thurman case in Georgia, her family has, and it's tragic, she is a young mother who left behind a young son. But what her family has said is it was a complication from an abortion pill that she received and she didn't get proper care when she went to a Georgia hospital, which had multiple opportunities to intervene there. Her own attorney the family's attorney says it wasn't the Georgia law, it was the hospitals. What he claims is malpractice, not treating her when she clearly showed up in distress and still had the byproducts of her pregnancy because of that rare complication from the abortion pill. So just to be clear on the Georgia law and how her family and her attorney sees it. You know, kudos to this host for calling him out. And this is why most liberals avoid going on Fox or conservative shows because they don't want to be called out for the BS and the nonsense that they have put forth. That's why they usually go on MSNBC or CNN because it's a much it's a much cushier interview where somebody's not grilling them and calling them out for the lies that they have. And he had no answer on the nine month thing. He never answered it because most people that are even for abortion really think that there should be a limit. Even Roe v. Wade, like she said, had a limit where you just couldn't abort the baby in any month you wanted. Once you're getting up in those later months, I mean, this is a full grown baby. I mean, that's absolutely horrible. Obviously, everybody's got to do with whatever they want. This is their own lives. But in reality, the fact that he doesn't want to admit it, and most Dems don't. If you listen to their talking points, they'll spew around and they'll say, oh, that's never true. That never happens. They never want to think of the late term abortions. Other than the woman having complications, I get it in that kind of situation. But other than that, just not wanting the kid and you decided, oh, it's eighth, ninth month and I'm about to have the kid. Let's just get rid of it is absolutely horrible. And again, these states, he's not the only state. Colorado's the same way, and there's several other states, California. There's so many states that you can run this down to a certain, you know, certain month, which is horrible. Being able to do it in the ninth month, and no matter what anybody says, is absolutely disgusting. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. You see how Walsh gets called out on his lies. If you guys like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. You guys have a wonderful day.